Hey, welcome back to Pregame Live. Nice little Jed Lowry tribute there. Brody, I understand you're a little bit upset right now that Jed Lowry wasn't initially named to the All-Star Game. Um, but look, that's just the business, the cost of doing business. It's the way things are. Every team's going to have a, a couple guys that get snubbed every season. And on the positive side, I want you to think about this. How about Blake Trinan? We talked about it before in the show. What a cool story that is. He used to be a member of the Washington Nationals. Now he's going back to D.C. as an all-star. I mean, come on, you, you can't be too upset. There's a good side to this story. D dude, what a bunch of shit. What have you been watching this season? Like in 90 games, have you not seen Jed Lowry? As in the Jed Lowry with 16 homers that, that matches a career high already. He leads all second basemen in the American League in homers, in RBI, extra base hits, slugging percentage. The guy played second like he was supposed to. Then he played third when the A's needed him. I mean, come on, man. Get it together. All right, all right, I get it. I mean, you're a little upset. But I mean, don't sweat all the details and, and really look at the bright side. If Jed ultimately doesn't go to the All-Star game, he's gonna spend four days off at home here in the Bay Area. Like, don't you want him rested for the second half? Bro, and I'm literally gonna bro you, he's not even part of the final vote choices. That is flat out disrespectful. And don't even get me started on Chris Davis. The guy has hit 40 plus homers each of the last two seasons. He's on pace to do it again this damn season. I mean, all of this, it really sucks. This is... Brody, are you talking to yourself again? <laughs>